All right, so this is another problem here out of 5.1 and it's factoring. And so we have 4a plus 15bc plus 12b plus 5ac. So one thing I want to mention, this problem here does have, uh, let's see, we do have four terms. And so we do want to use the method of grouping, okay? So if you notice the way the problem is written, if I look at, say, these two terms, and I say 4a plus 15bc, do I have any numbers common to 4 and 15? And I don't. And the variables don't have any common factors either. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this problem. We're going to write it as 4a, and then, let's see, we're going to bring this guy in front, plus 12b, plus, and then we'll write this one next, uh, 15bc, plus 5ac. So all I've done, really, is just switch these two terms out, okay? Now that we have that, and the reason why I want to do that is because now when I look at these two pieces here and I say, okay, well, what can I factor out of those two pieces? Well, we can take out a 4 and we're left with an A plus 3B, okay? And then if I circle these two and I say, okay, well, what's common to both of these? Well, they both have a 5 and they both have a C, so we can take out a 5 and a C, and now I'm left with a 3B plus A, okay? So now when I get to this step, remember, if we're doing this the right way, then this piece here and that piece there should be exactly the same. And I look at them, and they don't look exactly the same, but you know what, guys? They really are. So if I leave this as A plus 3B, and I leave my 5C here, because these two are being added, it doesn't matter in what order we add them in, right? 3B plus A is the same thing as A plus 3B, right? So when you add two numbers like say, oh, I don't know, two plus three, it's the same thing as saying three plus two, right? Okay, so now at this point, we can say, look, this is my common factor. So let's take that out, A plus 3B. And then the other factors are gonna be four plus five C C and 